400 episodes, long time coming. Uh, how are both of you feeling? We're so grateful. I mean, 400 is a big number. We're TV's longest running animated series. Yes, we are. Uh, and it's so much fun, and we have fun every single day. We're grateful every single day. And I think the love that we have for the shows really translates, and that's why the fans love it too. And we love our fans right back. And you can watch every episode of Teen Titans Go all month, all the whole month of November mm-hmm. on Cartoon Network. You better watch every single episode. <laughs> You know, I'm going to bounce off a previous question about stop motion. Did either of you knew that this um, next upcoming one would be stop motion prior to doing the voices? Yeah, they told us. And obviously for us, performance-wise, it's the same. We become these characters, so we really envision ourselves in each moment. We don't think, oh, now we're stop motion, now we're a puppet, now we're 3D animation or whatever it is. But it came out... I would say even better than I had envisioned in my mind. I think it's really, really brilliantly done, and it's fun to watch, and we laugh so much. We laugh watching it again. We've seen it a few times, and we laughed again today. We keep it fresh, yo. (laughs) My next one um, for you, Tara. Um, Back in the Metal Gear series, you also played Paz, and I'm a fan of Metal Gear, so I have to ask, what was it like working with Hideo Kojima, especially bringing that character to life? Uh, You know, I really uh, love doing video games. I think it's the fandom is very special because people feel like they're in the game with you. So there's another conscious level of really doing um, believable, authentic, moving performances. And talk about a moving performance. Pause was um, pretty emotional um, places that I had to go. And uh, I get a lot of fan love for that. A lot of people bring that game and want me to sign little peace signs on it. It's pretty special. My final one for you, since we're at Comic-Con, and since both of you deal with different types of fandoms, what's the most amount of gifts the both of you ever receive Ooh, the most at a Comic-Con? The real gift is the fans showing up to meet us, truly. I do love when people make us stuff. You know, it's nice when people buy things um, and, and presents, but when someone makes something from their heart that says, you all really touch touch my heart so I want to paint this for you or bead this for you or do this stained glass window or wood carving I I, I can't even really count how many gifts I've had and I try to keep them all Um, I have a lot of really fun plushies from characters that I've done we had that whole um, art um, the guy painted every character of Teen Titans remember that? I have a whole warehouse full of stuff. Your dog just farted really yeah. bad. <laughs> I was going to say, I can imagine both of you have either crates or warehouse full of um, fan items. That's great. That's great. I, I mean, I have I have a storage shed full of stuff. One day we'll have to do a big auction for charity. Exactly. <laughs> Thank you to both of you for your time today. Also, cute dog. Thank you. <laughs> How are you both feeling about New York Comic Con this week as a whole? Uh, man, it's been great. You know, it's uh, it's it's huge, but but it uh, it feels like New York huge, but community. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. How about you? Yeah, man, you can't beat the the energy in New York City, man. You know what I'm saying? The vibe out here is just it's top notch, man. Absolutely. You know, I got my good slice of pizza. Yes. Always get the best slice of pizza possible in New York City before, which is. Just about any slice of pizza you walk in, you know what I mean? That it's, dollar slice, dude. I'm telling you, man. You know what? Now I have to ask, New York pizza or Chicago? Oh, it's New York. New York. Yeah, that's New York. Yeah, you yeah. know, you know we ain't calling Chicago yeah, while yeah. we're and, in and, the and city. Listen, and I, yeah, exactly. And I love a Chicago pizza, okay. but, but man, that something in the water. Something in the water. Now we have Teen Titans uh, going on here. Uh, what's y'all thoughts about this upcoming um, film? Oh, I mean... Wait, what, what film? I mean, TV. So I was, I was like, is there something going on that I don't know about? I was like, why did they do way too and not telling me? I've been doing way too many of these this week, so I apologize. Well, we're uh, celebrating 400 episodes. Uh, you know, I can't believe the journey this this uh, show has been on. It has been the wildest roller coaster. You know, there was such controversy when it first came out, and it was so different from the old show. You know, and, and just watching the, the haters slowly laugh their way into love has been amazing. All of the great uh, episodes that we've made making fun of everyone who makes fun of our show. (laughs) And uh, you know what I mean? It's just like coming out on the other side has been awesome. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, man, dude, it's just, it's a blessing just to hit this milestone of 400 episodes, man. We started this journey 12 years ago and, you know, this is some dream come true business, so yeah, it's cool. Yeah, back then, back then I had hair, you know, and now I, now, yeah, yeah, now I'm back to just shaving it all off again. It's it's been a journey. We both got a little more gray in the beard, but you know what? Titans in our hearts, and and uh, you know, teenaged all this time. 
You know, this goes to my next question. 400 episodes. Um, how do both of you remain uh, fresh with your characters? You know, I think um, sleep deprivation. <laughs> Probably, you know what I mean? It keeps us uh, delirious, which, um, which uh, keeps the, um, the creative juices flowing, you know. And when we drop from exhaustion, you know, that's when you know it's time for a vacation. Well, he said. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it. And he knows the, the uh, exhaustion way more than I do. Absolutely. My final one for the both of you, um, since this is in the DC universe, uh, have any of you picked up any comics recently from that same universe? Oh, you know, I'm always picking up the, the, the new uh, Cyborg series. You know, I got to stay current. You know what I mean? I got, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm always up for stealing ideas. You know what I mean? That we can use. <laughs> I mean, for me, honestly, what's a blessing is that we share uh, office space uh, with DC. So DC's constantly coming by, dropping off Teen Titans comic books for us. It's always Teen Titans, man. I'm just living in that Titans world, and I love it. That's awesome. You know, I'm going to add one more. Since you shaved your hair, are you getting ready to get back to Ezekiel on The Walking Dead now? You know what? I'm not going to lie. I, I, was, I, I grew my hair out to, to have my afro back for a little bit. I had it in braids, you know, just to switch it up because I kind of missed Ezekiel. But, um, but my wife was like, you know, I kind of missed your uh, shaved head. And you don't, she don't have to ask me twice. You know, she, she's in charge of the do. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> thank both of you for your time today, and hope you all enjoyed the rest of the con. All right, thank you, buddy.